Five days since hospital workers and SUNY students were required to have their coronavirus vaccines, the state's mandate seems to be working. At both college campuses and hospitals, the vaccine rate is improving. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan has an update from Upstate Hospital. It hasn't been an easy week for Upstate Medical University's president. He had to suspend or fire 113 unvaccinated workers. Everyone else has to pick up the slack. People are doing well. Stepping up, taking care of each other, and hopefully we will start rebuilding very soon. Some of the 113 have already been welcomed back after having a change of heart. At least 14 unvaccinated workers have changed course and gotten their shots. We're giving everybody an opportunity and people are taking it. So I'm very pleased and I think we have a great workforce. We will be fine. The governor has offered the National Guard or nurses in training to help support struggling hospitals. But despite the loss of workers, SUNY's chancellor says his three hospitals so far are self-sufficient by closing operating rooms, pausing non-emergency surgeries, and asking staff to work overtime. We have not had to rely on outside uh, resources yet or outside personnel. We hope to keep it that way because we want continuity of our own services within our facilities and we, we hope this stay that way. The increase in changed minds is happening for SUNY students too, who had the same deadline as hospital workers. The list of 10,000 non-compliant people earlier this week now cut in half. I get people's hesitancy sometimes, I really do, but the science is clear. This is safe and it's effective and it allows us to move on in society to do the things we love and enjoy. Hugging our loved ones, going to sporting events, sitting in a college classroom, that to me outweighs any of the hesitancy because I'd rather have a person who's a little hesitant but gets the shot that ends up in a hospital and worse. SUNY is trying to save lives in its hospitals and beyond. In Oswego, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9.